welcome to my kingdom. I'm the king of this world. What's up guys, my name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe right here, super easy. It'll come back, it'll notify you. Hit that notification bell too, because that's gonna notify you every time I do one of these videos and upload. So you guys could come and clown on me. Whatever you guys wanna do, just, just come and stop by. Show some love, show some hate, I don't care. <laughs> I figured that I'm gonna share with you guys a quick video on how to become more confident or what that even actually means to me because I've seen a lot of people talk about confidence and they're like, if you want to be confident, you have to have a beard. If you want to be confident, you have to have a six pack. If you want to be confident, you have to have a chiseled jawline. If you want to be confident, you need to have good hair. If you want to be confident, you can't wear baggy pants. And I'm here to tell you guys that all that sh <laughs> all that you guys are seeing online, you don't need any of that. You don't, that's all, that's all brought to you guys by if you guys want, you know, that's, that's the type of stuff that that's usually for. If you want to be confident, you need a beard, but make sure it's trimmed up nice. So right here, guys, <laughs> tell you the truth and the truth is free. <laughs> and just that's going to help you guys become better people. For you guys, I just want to cut away the fluff and just let you guys know exactly what confidence means to me and how I got to a level where I'm confident. Because I feel like I'm a pretty confident person. I deal with rejection really good because I've dealt with rejection my entire life. So it's to a point now where it's just fun to see the different types of rejection that I can get and it just brings me happiness to my life to know that the rejection is a result and you can do many things depending on how you take it. So that being said, I'm going to share with you guys basically two words that kind of help me get to be a very confident person. You don't need to dress a certain way. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to sign up to my Dollar Shave Club thing for a dollar. Dollar Shave Club slash Carlos, no. But I'm just going to share with you guys. The two words that got me to be a confident dude. Let's go. The two words that I kind of live by as far as being confident is practice and preparation. And I mean that in every sense of life. Like if you want to take a test, you have to study, which means you have to practice. You have to be prepared. If you're not prepared, you're not confident. You're not going to be able to pass the test. So that means you're gonna lack a lot of confidence. And that analogy goes for like everything in life. Obviously I have a majority audience of male following. And I know that a lot of guys struggle with confidence in terms of talking to girls. That in itself takes practice and preparation to be a successful guy talking to a girl to potentially get her number, to potentially date her, to potentially do whatever you do with this chick, right? The practice part, the practice aspect is going up to these girls. If you get rejected, it's fine. Just know what you did wrong. If you did, I mean, most of the time, it's just us being stupid as guys. I feel like a lot of girls are probably willing to give you a number or they're just a and then you move on, right? So that being said, you have to practice going up to chicks. If not, you're not gonna be good approaching girls and that means if you're a shy guy you have to get over that shyness if you just blank out like I do in these videos looking at the camera then you have to practice that you know and you have to notice you have to know what you're doing in order for you to kind of navigate through that mist and get you to a place where you just feel comfortable talking to girls you know so that's I think that's one of the biggest things as far as comp why guys want to be confident because we want to talk to females, right? So I think that practice and preparation is a key thing. These rejections, these failures come with results. So if you go to talk to a girl and you're like, well, I didn't, I fucked up. You were too nervous. Next time you have to realize that, okay, I'm too, I can't be too nervous because then I choke and I just have to calm down, count to three and fucking man up and go for it, you know? And this goes for every sense and even business. Like sometimes, you know, I think a lot of times we lack confidence and that prevents us from going after our dreams and goals. And I think that is the most crazy thing because in life, there is no right or wrong way. There's no real way to success. There's no, I mean, like, I'm, I didn't finish college. I dropped out the first semester. I had Fs my entire life in school. I was never a good student. Uh, I didn't really care about school. So for me, starting up my own business, starting up my company and being an entrepreneur is very exciting because half the time you have to be comfortable not knowing what you're doing, but being confident enough to get yourself out of these situations by believing in what you're doing. See how low the shirt is? That's just how I wear it. And I'm, I'm confident enough to do that. And no one's going to tell me to button it up. I don't care. I don't, you know, like, it's just like, you have to be comfortable in your own skin. You have to do what you believe in. And if you do what you believe in, then you're always going to succeed, guys. And that's just a fact. So I'm just here to tell you guys that quick little confidence hack. Just style preparation, guys. Whatever it is, if you want to, like, I, I don't know what it is. Anything. You just have to kind of practice it fell forward, which means you have to practice because with practice comes failure. Uh, and you have to know how to, and you're gonna have to change your perspective on failure and not think of it as something negative because everyone is afraid to fail, but in reality, that's the best thing in life because it comes with results. Um, if you don't do anything, then you're never gonna know how it feels. So I highly suggest you guys start failing forward 
and also you know practice and preparation and meaning taking what you've learned from that failure and adapting it to your everyday life in order for you to move forward and slowly start progressing and building up the foundation that you need to be the confident guy so that's just the, that's all you need guys honestly man like I, I i when i was younger i was a fat kid but i was always very optimistic i was always very confident in myself simply because you know why not i mean what the fuck guys it's 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 so it's like be, beating down on yourself is not good the bad things in life are always magnified in life but they're also the very minuscule smallest thing that could ever cross your path in in your journey of success um, and the only reason why it seems so big is because you're focused on there and if you take a step back and you know take a look at the picture when you're not in the frame it's going to seem a lot less impossible to manage and usually these things happen and they disappear the same way they came in the same way they go out so just make sure you guys live your life happy and be confident. You don't need any product. You don't need anything other than yourself to build yourself up and work on yourself. Go out and just practice being confident. That's that's just all it takes. It's all about confidence, guys. That's the best fragrance you can wear is confidence. So just make sure that if you need some kind of confidence buildup or confidence boost, you have to look into yourself to find it and not anything else. So that's all I have to say in this video. I'm not trying to sell you anything, uh, but yeah, guys. Follow Shave Club. That's gonna get you. The reason why I want to make this video is just because I don't like seeing like these videos that come out and they just tell you like how to boost your confidence. You need to you need to fucking work on this. You need to work out. Like yeah, you do need to work out. But that's only if you feel like they're gonna help you out. You know what I'm saying? But they're not something that you need to build confidence. So if you feel like if you're overweight, obviously you go to the gym. You feel confident because you feel like you're leaving some weight behind. That's good for you. But you don't need anything other than what you feel that you deserve in your life. So just take that for what it is. Yeah, whatever you feel is right within yourself that comes out of you, that's what you need. Organic vision, you know what I'm saying, within yourself that's gonna help you uh, become confident. But no other product other than that, like don't let anyone tell you that you need to buy something or do something that you kind of are like, I don't know if I really want to because then it's just not gonna help you. So if you feel like you need to go to the gym and jog, go to the gym and jog and that's gonna help you feel confident. If you feel like you need to read that book, read that book. If you feel like you're gonna need to get a new job to feel confident, go get that new job. That's all you fucking need, guys. That's it, that's all you need. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me at by Carlos Roberto on Instagram. If you guys have any questions or want me to expand on something, just let me know down below or communicate with me on Instagram at by Carlos Roberto and I will see you guys very soon. So don't forget to post style on everything and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out, guys.